Good evening, people of God. How are you, precious standers? I pray that you all are up in your spirit, and if you not, you will. I feel so led and moved to stand with you all, precious people of God. That one that is feeling weak in their faith, that one that is ready to give up, or that one that just needs someone to stand with them. I am here for you. I am here for you, people of God, and I know that the Lord will see you through if you don't give up. If you don't give up, you know, and even if you feel like you're about to give up, he's able to catch you and hold you up and keep you from falling. I declare and decree his peace and blessings and healing upon you now. I declare that his peace cover and guard your heart and your mind. I declare healing and restoration and peace in your marriage between you and your spouse. I declare that you all are one in Jesus name and that this marriage is rising up and it is illustrating Christ and the church united into one. And so I want us to stand together people of God and begin to just release your faith and allow the word of God to just cover you and begin to just wash over you and remove all those those tormenting thoughts everything that you have come under an attack with I am declaring peace to your heart and your mind in the mighty name of Jesus this same peace this same peace that the Lord Jesus Christ says he gives unto you. This peace that this world cannot give, neither can it take it away. This peace that shall guard your heart and your mind and that surpasses all understanding. May the Lord God preserve your heart and your mind and keep you strong in your faith. Keep you moving forward, pressing on. In Jesus' holy name. Lord God, we just glorify you. We magnify you. We thank you for what you are already doing in the hearts and in the minds of your people. I declare and decree that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them in judgment is already condemned. I declare peace. I declare your love and your joy. I declare your strength, Lord God, upon your people, upon the standards, Lord God, who are reaching out to you now. Lord God, I thank you that that spouse is coming back. That spouse, Lord God, I thank you, are being renewed in their mind. That spouse that is away, I declare and decree that their footsteps are ordered by you. You are keeping them. You are guiding them. You are causing them to be one flesh by the Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' holy name, I thank you that you are binding their hearts and their minds. And you are causing them to be like-minded towards one another out of reverence for Christ Jesus. I thank you that your love are clothed in these marriages. Your joy and your peace. Your goodness and your mercy is covering them and is with them all the days that they are on this earth. These marriages shall not be departed. They shall not be put asunder. For what you have joined together, Lord God, can no man separate. I bind everything that the enemy has come against these marriages with. I come against the spirit of divorce and division. Thank you, Lord God, that that spirit has been put to death on the cross in your body. You broke the spirit of hostility and enmity between the spouses on today. Husbands and wives are in Jesus name being submitted unto one another out of reverence for Christ Jesus. I thank you that these marriages are are coming under the obedience of Christ Jesus. They are guarded and protected. I bind every witchcraft, working spirit, every evil agent, all demonic forces, we bind you. All demonic 
forces. We bind you in Jesus name. I declare and decree that these marriages are loosed and free. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are covered under the blood. Lord God, thank you that spouses are reaching out to their loved one. They are returning back home in Jesus' name. You have defeated, Lord God, every assignment of the enemy. And we take our authority against it now. We say, Lord God, that the battle has already been won. We receive it in Jesus' name. I declare peace over the standard's mind. I thank you, Lord God, that you are not letting their hearts be troubled. Neither are you letting it be afraid. You are with them through the waters, through the fires and the storms. You will never leave them nor forsake them. In Jesus' holy name, we all declare the victory. We say that it is done. Our marriages are healed, delivered, and free. And our spouses are renewed, Lord God. Thank you that you have given them a new heart and a right spirit. You have taken out of them that heart of stone and stubbornness. And you have given them a heart that is responding to your call. A heart that is responding to your will a heart that is walking in your ways and in your image a heart that is aligned with your will for it in Jesus holy name and we give you the praise we love and adore you we bless your holy name and all the people of God says amen amen and amen people of God be encouraged Stand your ground. Continue holding on to what God has promised you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Know that the Lord's grace is sufficient for you in your weaknesses. He will see you through. He is the one that will finish what has been started in your life. What he has promised you, you will see it come to pass. Yes, I know the enemy will try to fight. But remember, you are ruler over him. You are the ruler over all principalities and wicked spirits that are in high places. Now take your authority. That's who you are. For there are more with you than they are with your enemies. Remember that. Now, I'm not going to be on here long. I know today is going to be a busy day. Many are going to be out voting. But we cover this nation even with prayer. In Jesus name. And we are asking for God's protection and mercy to be up on our nation. In Jesus' holy name. Remember, people of God, that God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.